Let's look at the set of parallel reactions. A goes to B and A goes to C taking place uh, in a plug flow reactor. Now we'll assume these have elementary kinetics. So each one is first order with reaction rate constants K1 and K2. And so we can write the mole balances. So here we'll do this in terms of concentration and residence time, assuming a constant volumetric flow rate through the reactor. So we can write that the changing concentration of A with respect to residence time is gonna be equal to minus K1CA minus K2CA since A is consumed by both of these reactions. So the mole balance on B will be DCB D tau is equal to K1CA since it's only produced by the first reaction and the mole balance for C is just going to be K2CA. Okay, so the mole balance on A is a separable differential equation. Uh, so we can uh, separate that and integrate it to solve for the concentration profile of A with respect to residence time. So let's see if we do that. We could write DCA divided by CA integrated from CA naught the inlet concentration to CA is equal to the integral from zero to tau of minus the sum of K1 plus K2 D tau. Okay, so the concentration profile for A is simply CA is equal to the initial concentration uh, entering the reactor CA naught uh, times e to the minus sum of k1 plus k2 times tau. So this looks quite similar to uh, concentration profiles we've seen for A if it was reacting in a single um, elementary first order reaction, uh, but here we have the two reaction rate constants for these two parallel pathways by which A is consumed. So we can plug in this expression of A into the mole balances for B and C. So for B, we can write now dCB d tau is equal to K1 times CA, which we can write CA naught times E the minus K1 plus K2 times tau. And so separating and integrating this expression uh, with a uh, assumption that there's no uh, B fed to the reactor, so CB naught B0. Um, we get a concentration profile for uh, CB equal to CA naught times K1 divided by K1 plus K2 times one minus E to the minus K1 plus K2 times tau. Okay, so for CB, Everything's going to look exactly the same, except we have a different rate constant in the numerator here. So now our concentration of C depends on K2 divided by the sum of the rate constants rather than K1. And the rest of our expression is identical. So here you can see that the selectivity, so say if we define the selectivity to B as the concentration of B divided by the concentration of B plus the concentration of C, so all products. Uh, this is just going to be equal to K1 over K1 plus K2. And so this expression for the selectivity is gonna be identical if we run this um, these parallel reactions in a continuous stirred tank reactor. And note that here, uh, nothing about the uh, selectivity depends on concentrations of any species or residence time. So here the selectivity, because both reactions are first order, simply depends on the ratio of our rate constants.